what we see here is uh, our range of solutions for Im information superiority on the digitized battle space. It means the ability for every level of command to gather the intelligence, to make sense of it, to extract the enemy nature, volume, attitude and intentions and share the same understanding of the situation to synchronize their maneuver from the highest level to the lowest tactical channel. So we equip the joint intelligence centers and the joint operation centers with standardized solutions which mix highest military standards like NATO standards with the state of the art of information technology. And this is combined to allow the user to focus on their main job, which means preparing and conducting operations. The technology comes behind, it is more transparent to the user, and it is, it is enabling interoperability and extended understanding and shared situation on the entire Army, Navy, Air Force battle space. So what are the various components of this? Right, the components are uh, arrayed around network communications. Network communications are a prerequisite to the interoperability between uh, echelons of forces. So what we provide is unified communications on the entire theater between satellite communications, radio communications, 4G portable mobile uh, radios, and this allows to provide services on top of this communication. Internet protocol is now a recognized standard, including for military communications. And on top of this internet protocol, we can deploy command and control or intelligence surveillance reconnaissance applications, which will enable to share the same level of tactical objects and tactical information between Army, Navy, Air Force and up to the joint level. So this networking of the theater is still a challenge. We are meeting this challenge so that we can go forward in terms of information superiority. So from the joint level down to the theater level, we are able to share multiple sensor information. We are able to relay orders and messages from the headquarters down to the dismounted soldiers out of his tank. And we deploy the solution down to the combat vehicle. This site shows a more tactical echelon of integrated combat vehicles that we manage also each vehicle as a system. The equipments of the vehicle, the GPS, the camera, the gun, are networked together. And we provide an overall supervision of the vehicle for the vehicle commander for the gunner and for the driver. So like in a combat aircraft, you can manage the vehicle from a single interface and allow to supervise your vehicle or also to share information between the vehicles because we are concentrating the voice, the data and the video inside the vehicle so that we can share observations and messages without speaking in the radio anymore, just by transferring data. And we can also share this tactical situation between the vehicles thanks to the integration of combat radios. So this enables the battle group commander to synchronize his forces, to share tactical situation from the battalion down to the platoon leader and enhance the flexibility and the tempo of the maneuver to dominate the maneuver, whereas the enemy is still uh, using voice communications and trying to locate each other and trying to understand where is their adversary. So the forces that are digitized, that are able to synchronize their maneuver and share the same tactical picture, have a very clear advantage on forces that are not equipped as such. So our specialty in Talis is to provide this information superiority as a force multiplier that will enhance the effectiveness and the tempo of operations of these digitized forces that are coming of age today.